What do you think of when you hear the term drill music? Are you friends with the Pergy man? I'm friends with the Pergy man. Are you friends with the Pergy man? I'm friends with the Pergy man. Well, an artist from the Flatbush area of Brooklyn used TikTok and his roots to help form the sound we know today and has become a voice of therapy within the subgenre. This is the story of Sleepy Hollow. Tegan Joshua Anthony Chambers is a drill rapper that is forming a new generation within the genre. His story began in Jamaica where he was born before growing up in the Flatbush area of Brooklyn. He started rapping early on when he was about 12 years old. He was already running in the streets at this time and gained the nickname Sleepy Hollow. Eventually, Tegan decided to adopt this as his artist name and thus Sleepy Hollow was truly born. Sleepy ended up dropping out of school in the ninth grade and that's where things got sticky for him. I have a violent gang taken off the streets and the two famous rappers who could be looking at serious prison time. He continued on rapping and improving his music and formed a friendship with fellow Brooklyn artist Chef G. Chef and Sleepy would work on a lot of tracks together during this time, and a pair of singles released in 2017 under the names Disrespect and Haters Hurtin' helped grow their buzz together. When 2018 rolled around, he was reaching a point where his time was coming soon, and sooner than you might have thought. I know Lily, they on me. Got my family depending on me. His single flows along with he and Chef G's Panic Part 3 would grab the eyes of many, with the latter being the biggest song at that point. Sleepy he continued regularly releasing music throughout the year, and when 2019 rolled around, he did anything but slow down. Chef G and him continued dropping together constantly, and when Chef's debut album released, we saw Sleepy featured seven times on it, which shows how much they appreciate each other and what they bring to the table. Following Chef G's The Unlucky Lucky Kid, it was finally time for Sleepy to release his debut mixtape two years after bursting onto the scene. Don't Sleep released on October 31st, 2019 and received mixed reviews, but it wasn't a horrible beginning for a career that has led Sleepy to 10 million monthly Spotify listeners. This mixtape was released during the early stages of Drill's evolution, and this tape is a foundational piece of the subgenre, I would say. A big difference between this tape and what Sleepy was known for up till then is Don't Sleep wasn't completely a drilled mixtape. It teetered the line of drill music and trap, and while it's a great showing of experimentalism from Tegan, there's still a lot to figure out with what's coming next from him. Moving forward to 2020, Sleepy brought two projects to the table, starting with Sleepy for President. Tegan shined on this record, as he found his pocket and was able to deliver an amazing experience from cover to cover. While still quite unpolished, he's figuring out what he does that works, and it showed when he went viral on TikTok with his song Deep End Freestyle. I don't think you wanna give me reason. Great John on the beat, by the way. My body different which was the opening track for this 12-song mixtape. Following this, he delivered a five-song EP entitled The Black House EP, which showcased his Brooklyn sound and roots throughout it. Sleepy for President popped for 15,000 sales in the first week and was highlighted by songs, and was highlighted by the songs Deep End Freestyle, Molly, and Don't Panic featuring Chef G. Some of these songs are massive, with Deep End hitting 292 million on Spotify and charting at number 80 on the Billboard Hot 100, and Molly reaching 142 million itself. At this point, Sleepy has reached a different point within the industry, and it was time for him to apply pressure and take what he's been working for. He didn't stop either, following up these two projects with a 2021 release of his debut studio album, Still Sleep. If people were still sleeping, this sure as hell woke them up. Every song on this record is amazing, and it took Sleepy to a new height, selling 17,000 first week with almost zero features. If you think those are low, don't because this album has reached incredible heights since release. Sleepy packed this record in, with the intro track hitting 120 million streams, his song 2055 took off and is currently his biggest song to date, sitting at 770 million streams, and 1999 hitting 91 million. Still Sleep is certified gold, with 2055 being three times platinum, and Basketball Dreams, the intro track of the album, being certified gold, with 1999 being certified gold as well. It went on to reach number 16 on Billboard and was a sign of what's to come for him. He continued to not let up with his momentum and paired up with 347 Aiden for his song. I don't wanna die, 
Young. My personal favorite song of his, along with two more songs and then a single featuring Lil TJ before inevitably dropping his second album, Boy Meets World, in September of last year. Boy Meets World managed to reach number 17 on the Billboard charts, and he elevated his sound yet again on this one. There's more to Sleepy's story than just his music and, and streaming numbers, though. The two rappers were among 32 alleged gang members charged today in a 140 count indictment. The DA saying the gang is linked to 12 shootings and one murder, which was caught on camera. Being locked up gave Sleepy a new perspective on things, and Boy Meets World was a testament to that. He wanted to show his development in music and growth as a person. He noticed more after he was released how open people are about sharing their feelings and stated in an interview with Brooklyn, definitely, that's exactly the word. Even when I play back some of my songs, I understand why some of my fans say that I'm therapy for them. It's not that I'm just talking about me with the things that I say. They can also relate to things that they're going through. Sleepy Hollow, no. Tegan Chambers wants to help people with his music and allow people to relate to and find solace in his words. He's no longer overanalyzing his music, he's just winging it and having fun with his passion. In January, he posted a clip to his TikTok of a snippet for a song called Party Crasher, which will be featured on his next album that's in the works. And looking at his development and willingness to experiment, I can't wait for what Sleepy brings to the table next.